Hey, I'm Hans and welcome to Tech Edge. The edge computing hardware space is full of options. On the one hand, you may be thinking, that's great, lots to choose from. But on the other hand, how do you know what the right edge computer is for your project? Well, in our experience, the best place to start when choosing edge hardware is thinking about how and where you plan to use it. We've created six core characteristics of edge devices to help you compare options and choose the right system. So let's break them down. So the first thing to establish before we dive into our six core edge computing traits is the difference between a trait and a spec. Specs are things like processing power, storage space, memory, and connectivity. Of course, those things are important when choosing any computer, but they're also pretty cut and dry. A system either has HDMI ports or it doesn't. What we've realized in talking to customers over the years is that specs are only part of what matters when it comes to successful edge computing deployments. That's where these six traits come in, which take into account multiple factors, some of which may be specifications, admittedly, to determine how suitable a given system is for your application. As we go through these traits, we'll be referring to three broad categories of computers, rugged, industrial, and actively cooled industrial. So first, we've got survivability. Edge computers often face dust, extreme temperatures, electrostatic discharge, impact forces, and vibration. A lot of stuff. Survivability represents the system's ability to tolerate these factors over time. For tough environments, it should probably be your first consideration when selecting an embedded or edge computer. Rugged edge computers are a great place to start if survivability is a key concern for you. Fanless industrial systems don't have as high a level of protection. However, they still resist dirt, dust, and debris, and they'll tolerate some minor infrequent impact forces. What about systems that use fans to cool their components, you may be thinking? Well, that lowers the overall cost by eliminating more highly engineered cooling solutions, but doesn't provide the same level of survivability as the previous two because of the vented chassis and additional moving parts. That being said, they're still a great option when used in clean climate controlled environments. Second up is pollution class. This refers to the level of particulate density a system can tolerate. When dust and debris enter the system, and they will, they threaten internal components, jeopardizing your system and its data. A fanless design and protective shielding gaskets will prevent unwanted materials from entering. As for vented systems, they're actively cooled with a fan. It doesn't mean they're inferior or unreliable. It simply shows the system isn't designed with those protections in mind. Third up is shock and vibration, which not shockingly, pun intended, refers to the amount of impact shock and vibration frequency a system can tolerate. Rugged computers can tolerate up to 50 Gs of shock and vibration in order to survive in vehicle, railway, and other mobile applications. While a fanless industrial system generally lacks this level of shock and vibration dampening, the fanless design and integrated heat spreader adds some durability. Meanwhile, vented, actively cooled commercial systems are usually rated only for shipping or transit, where they're still supported by packaging material. All right, four, now we're getting into good stuff. Electromagnetic compatibility, or EMC, is the system's tolerance to interference caused by fast transients and voltage discharges. These cause erratic performance, malfunction, or damage to the system. Computers operating industrial manufacturing in similar environments require this protection because the threat is so prevalent. Rugged systems feature robust tolerance to EMC. They're designed to operate in environments with variable or unpredictable power and are tested to high standards to ensure resiliency. Industrial systems are well protected too, often tested to the same high standards, but lack some of the advanced power features rugged computers have designed in. Fan-cooled industrial systems are more susceptible to EMC interference due to their vented chassis, but they serve reliably when installed in the proper environment. Five, global readiness. Nowadays, edge computers are being deployed in every corner of the globe. And as a result, meeting the regulatory requirements of each country is important for system and personnel safety. A highly ruggedized system usually meets or even exceeds many global standards. And that's due to extensive testing to measure the efficacy of its ruggedization and assign any applicable certifications. Utilizing hardware manufacturers who go through the effort to attain these certifications for their systems saves time and money when deploying edge computers on a global stage. Industrial fanless and fan-cooled systems generally meet a number of the same standards, but usually to a lesser degree than rugged computers. Knowing how to navigate regulatory waters is important because the different requirements for different countries widely vary. 
And last, but certainly not least, at number six, let's talk about temperature. Temperature plays a major role in system performance and reliability. The thermal design power, or TDP, of the processor and components, cooling methods, environment, installation, they all have an impact on how the system handles hot and cold temperatures. Rugged edge computers enjoy operating temperature ranges as wide as minus 40 to 70 C. The selection of components plays a really critical role in achieving this, as does the internal layout and other design choices of the system. Industrial edge computers generally operate in temperature ranges a little lower, zero to 50 C for both fan and fanless, and they may share some of the same DNA as rugged systems, but often to a lesser extent. And there you have it, six features to consider when selecting edge computing hardware. I hope this video provided you with a good overview and maybe even a chuckle or two. And if you wanna get even deeper into this topic, you can check out the blog on our website or always feel free to reach out to us with any questions. Subscribe to our channel and see you next time here on TechEd.